Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. This tutorial will be two parts. So Valentine's is coming up on us pretty close here. So how cute would it would be really cute to go ahead and give a card with maybe a famous Disney couple. So I wanted to do a Disney couple tutorial, but two parts. So we're gonna do one part right now and then I'm gonna link it down below to part two. So we are going to draw Lady and the Tramp. So how cute would it be to give somebody this Valentine's Day a card that has Lady and the Tramp on it? And this is the famous spot where everybody sees the spaghetti scene. I wanna go ahead and lay out both of the puppy dogs though. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Lady. And we're just gonna go ahead and make this diamond shape off to the side. And then pretty close, we're gonna jump up here. Um, I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit. Wanna be close, but not too close. All right. So we got a square here and a square here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out Lady's neck. And then her chest. And then we're just going to go ahead and bring down this side as well, along with this side. And then Tramp is going to be very similar. Lay out his neck. And then his chest. And I'm going to close off that chest. Now what I want to do right down here is go ahead and create the table. So I'm going to round off the bottom of both of their chests and we just have this imaginary line going across them and we're gonna fill all this in and then I wanna go ahead and at least draw the plate of spaghetti. And we'll go ahead and do the, splate, the plate of spaghetti with Tramp's tutorial. Right now, let's focus on Lady. Lady, dogs are very similar to humans where they, ha they do have a nose line and they do have an eye line, boxier anatomy to them. I would like to go ahead and draw out her nose and her overall nostril that whole area but she has this big nose ridge to where her markings are her nose ridge so building up off of her nose ridge I would like to go up and then down on this one on this side and then it would cur it would go outwards and then her nostril would go that there on her other side of her head we have her markings go across the back of her head. They go up and then they go down into her ear. So it's it's an interesting it's an interesting shape to a head because it's round and then it goes out a little bit boxy and then it goes back. Let's start with her eyes first. I want to do the left side of her eye. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a couple of these guidelines so we're not running into them. Her left eye would be going right on the eye line, but what we're going to do is we're going to go out and then go right back into that nose ridge, place where her other eye is gonna go. So I'm still on this eye guideline. Give her her big round eye. And they are shaped, so we do have to shape them. Let's start with the right eye and shaping this first and placing it together. It goes to a corner, goes up, comes down, and then we're gonna go up for that where that cheek is. A little bit of a cheek mark where her dimples cover up the bottom of her eye. Goes up and there. And then, what's interesting about her eyelashes is they're not exactly connected to her eyes, so they're coming off to the side just a little bit. And then her eyelid is on top of that. Go ahead and draw that eyelid. And then her pupil iris area is right up into the corner. Let's fill her eyelashes. She does have thick eyelashes. They go outwards and all across her eyelid. And then she has very large pupils, as all dogs do. We barely get to see their irises, except when they give us those puppy dog looks. And then a shine right here. But I'll go ahead and fill in this pupil area. After this eye, I want to go ahead and jump over here. And we do have a very thick eyelash line off to the side. The eyelash does go off of her face. And we have outwards eyelashes that she's got a ton they don't have a certain length they're all a little bit sporadic and then her eyelid goes above her eye and into her nose ridge and then her pupil iris area is tucked up into the corner same direction this one's looking up we can't just see 
more of this side than we do this side. Okay, and give her her pupil, really big pupil, and then the shine is still over into this corner, and then we're gonna color in her pupil. I'd like to go over here to her nose. So we have her nose ridge. I'm just gonna go off to the right here where we made this part. What we're gonna do is go ahead and start her nose. And what it is going to look like is we're going to round off the top, bring it down a little bit, round it off, not too boxy, it's a very round nose. Go down and go right back up. So it kind it curves inwards and then curves up. The reason being is we have a little bit of a shine going on her nose. We don't have the definition of her nose, but we have a shine to where it divides where the top of the nose is and where the bottom of the nose is. And there's that little shine right there. Now what I'd like to do is go down off to the side of her nose and it's gonna go up. It's going to crease upwards to this part of her nose that's going down. So it's gonna go up and then it's gonna go down and then we're gonna start going towards where her head is. Before we place where her mouth is going to go, where her dimple is, we have to give her the other side of her marking down her, the middle of her head and it's gonna go down and it's gonna go in and then we can go ahead and give her that dimple because that is where her marking stops. And it's just her mouth and the middle of her face and her chest that have this color. I'm gonna go below her mouth now and give her her chin and it's gonna go in we have a little bit of like roughly ruffles of fur and then it goes in and up into her dimple. So it's curved upward, curve upward, curve upward. One important thing is it's really interesting because both Lady and Tramp have eyebrows above this eye right here and we're going to go ahead and just give her a dark eyebrow here and then a dark eyebrow going up into the corner of her head. After this we have to give her really fluffy ears. That's the entirety of Lady. She has extremely fluffy ears. So I'm gonna start right at this part. I'm gonna go up. It goes up and then I'm gonna jump over here and it's taking up the most of her face. It's getting pretty close to her eye. Bring this down. Bring it down. And this is gonna curve inwards and don't be too afraid to get too crazy with her ears alrighty I want to go ahead and do this ear over here and it's actually gonna go out and back into her face so we see it on this side of her head and then it just rolls downwards and down towards the spaghetti plate underneath her chin go inwards and then down and out, and then she has her collar, which goes down and into her, into her ear. And then we have the other part, and it goes into her ear. And I'm gonna jump into the middle, give it that division, and bring out her tag, which is a diamond. to give it that look of fur and then she has the other coloring to her chest which is going to go into her tag her dog tag and into her ear now the last thing we have to do for this tutorial is to go ahead and draw the spaghetti coming out of her mouth so we have it's just a thin noodle and it's gonna go up and it's going to connect to tramp's mouth Alrighty, so there we, I wanted to show you where the markings on Lady were because she has about 
three different colors going on all over her. So, all right, click on the link down below to make sure you go ahead and jump over to Tramp to learn how to draw him. I'll see you guys in about a couple of minutes. <laughs>